Today we'll talk a little bit about cervical radiculopathy or, or radial arm pain. Very often, almost always one-sided, up in the shoulder. They, it's a rapid onset. They really don't know what they did, if anything that they can recall. But sometimes numbness tingling down into the fingertips. And pain can be anywhere from back here all the way down to the hand. So most people will get better without surgery. So the, the idea is to get the symptoms under control early. But within the first week or two, uh, some selective narcotics are usually appropriate. Certainly non-steroidals or anti-inflammatories by mouth. Motrin, that type of uh, medication. Uh, relative rest, but not inactivity. They might require a muscle relaxant, particularly in the evening at the end of their day, to kind of get through the night because often the pinched nerve leads to muscle spasm. And so, again, we're trying to treat symptoms early on. And barring some really drastic loss of function, their arm isn't moving like it's supposed to, it's very safe to wait this out for a bit of time. Let's treat the symptoms and see how it goes. So if it's been a, a either, either it's a rather severe presentation that requires intervention or the more usual, which is, Doc, it's been here for so long, I can't take this anymore. Then we start to look at, all right, is there an MRI that we can obtain? If so, what does that show? If it all matches up, then you can start to talk about maybe an injection, um, maybe a little bit of traction therapy, and if enough time passes and or symptoms are bad enough, potentially surgery. Nine out of ten times, the surgery is done from the front portion of the neck. It's called an anterior cervical discectomy infusion, or ACDF for those who've been through it. There's usually one level, if not, it, there's a minimum of one level involved, often two, because it's just the nature of the, of the problems that people have. But it is, uh, it's a day in the hospital, a night in the hospital usually, and they go home the next day. Most of the time they'll wake up with either uh, no arm pain or much rapidly diminished arm pain. Their arm pain resolves, that starts to settle out for them, the neck discomfort requires medication for usually a week or two, and then they're, they're pretty much back in the normal activities. I think the primary thing that distinguishes is volume. In other words, we do so much of this type of surgery that everybody from the surgeons that do it, but more, just as importantly from the OR staff to the recovery room to the nurses on the floor are used to seeing it. We see it every day. So like anything else, I think you want to go where the people involved in your care are most in tune to and know how to handle your particular operation or your particular pathology. So to me, it, it absolutely defines what the Baptist does well.